it's now time to connect your server with SSH so you can start to install the applications that we need. So I'm using OSX, so I can simply use the uh, SSH command from the from the terminal. But if you're using something like Windows, I'd recommend using something like Putty. It's fairly easy to use, so go ahead and download that. So whatever SSH client that you're using, just go ahead and connect to the IP that's been uh, that's sort of displayed uh, by your droplet, and also it's been emailed to you. And you also want to connect using the root account as well. So we're going to say root at 107.170.106.231. So you may get um, a warning, but if you do, just go ahead and say yes. In this case, it's just prompting me for the password. So I can go ahead and copy that and just paste that in. And you can see we've got open access to our server. So now you're in, uh, in this case Ubuntu has given us some useful information about the server and you can now provide standard commands here to navigate your, your way around the droplet. So for example, if we were to go uh, and list, list everything, no, so we can go back a directory and start listing and then you see we've got, there's the file system. So you can see now we're in the root directory of the server and we're now ready to start setting everything up. So now that you've set up your droplet and you've successfully connected, we're going to go ahead and install Apache and move on to creating a file, viewing it directly from your browser using this IP address.